Peter, what, what's it like to be an assistant coach against your old club in a Western Derby? Um, different. First time, a uh, little bit nervy, I suppose, uh, going to the game because it was an Eagles home game. So uh, probably the, the supporter base, you know, just probably thinking at times, wonder what they're thinking and how they would react, which, which was good. So it was no issue. Um, but now it's, it's not an issue. So that first game for me, plus that being a home game for West Coast, so now it's, for me, it's moved on pretty quick and uh, just looking forward to the challenge and understanding what uh, their club's about. What's Ross Lyon like to work with? Very good. He, he's, if, if I've got to compare, and I've only got really a couple to compare against, like Mick and, um, you know, John in the sense, mm. and then I've got my waffle coaches, but very intense man, very upbeat. He's uh, very funny. Oh, I, you know, and these are the things I, I, I won't say too much, you know, in here. But he's a very funny man, and um, I just think he's he's detail on, um, you know, match day slash prior to that. You know, his meetings and all is is top quality. It's very very good. In in the six to nine months I've been here, I've I've just grown again, and and that's probably what I wanted. Yeah. And um, by leaving West Coast, and um, nothing against. What I learned at West Coast is enormous, but what I've learned in the six to nine months here is, is grown me again to the, where the game's going and, and the way Ross operates. Changed your attitude to the way football is played or should be played or where you think it's headed? Yeah, yeah, yeah it has. And, and that's with, like I said, the new ideas Ross has brought to the club, uh, you know, and under his regime. And, and you know, he's, he's sucked a little bit out of me um, with certain things, but... He, he had a, a way he was going to go and he, he, we're going down that path as a club and, and like I said, I've learned a lot. I've actually, oh geez, that's, you can do this, you can do that. So it's actually opened my eyes up again. As much as you know, West Coast had a great game plan mm. over the last couple of years, this one here will take us forward, no doubt. You've had Pavlich in really good form. What's he been like to coach? Yeah, very good. You know, the, my first, first time when I met him, you know, being employed by the club and I thought, oh, how are you going to handle him? How am I going to handle him? Because um, he's done a fair bit in footy. I've just kept it fairly basic with him. I'm not going to teach him any new tricks in that sense. And it's a, about consistency for him. And that's, that's something that I've really tried to work on with him is being consistent throughout and, and giving the dynamics of where the game's going yep. as a forward line pers you know, person up there. This is where the game's going. This is what you need to do as a forward line player now. This is not what it was five, eight, ten years ago. This is what you need to, to do. And, and he's adapted to that. West Coast always strikes you as a very confident mm. football club in times of success and even sometimes in times of failure. Mm. Does it, how significant a factor is something not like that? In big. The well, that's what you pay for. And I think once this club does get a a trophy in the cabinet, I, I think um, it's going to change the club and the perception and probably even outside of what um, people think about Fremantle and, and that, that is a key factor going forward, you know, for the club to grow. Everyone talks about Richmond and all these sleeping giants clubs and Fremantle's got a fair few good supporters yeah. and, and a big base. I know that for a fact being around Fremantle so if they talk about those teams being sleeping giants, I think Fremantle's not far beyond. Are you confident for Saturday? Yeah, yeah. Are we confident with every game? And I, I think the players are, are growing to go, oh, we are too now, because we can see what structures are, are put in place and what Ross is trying to achieve with the group, mm. that yes, we can go in and win most games. You know, you, you talked about West Coast, even when they won the win, wooden spoon. I, I can tell you now, as much as it was doom and gloom, um, we had a confident bunch of players and, and I know John stuck to a, a system and, and always spoke to the media about being positive with the players and what he had and that comes through and I, I, I can see that coming through this club now with being positive and we know where we want to go and, and hopefully we can build. All right, mate. Thanks. Good no luck. Worries.